Hi, it's Sienna. Welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be like a get ready with me. Um, I have already put my hair in rollers, like you can probably see. I used it, I used heated rollers. These are the ones I use just in case anyone is curious. Um, this get ready with me is going to be like a glam makeup. But it's also because I'm doing some Instagram pictures. So I wanted to show that. So, so far, all I've done is put my hair in the rollers. I have also just put this moisturizer on my face so that we can start the makeup. And I have done my eyebrows as well. This is what I've used for my eyebrows. It just looks like this. And I use this darker shade. It's a bit of a mess, I know. And what we're going to do now is just start with foundation. So I'm actually going to be using two foundations. Now, I just wanted to mention these are both like too dark for my skin tone at the moment because I've not got any fake tan on. However, like I usually do have fake tan on, so that's why this is so dark compared to my like compared to me at the minute. And um, so I'm still going to be using it. Also, for Instagram pictures, the filters I use on my posts kind of give me a bit of a tan anyway, so I'm hoping it won't look too bad like on the pictures. Um, and I'm not actually going anywhere, so it doesn't really matter what it looks like in person. Um, but the foundation I use is this Maybelline Superstay Active Wear, the 30 hour one. And I have this in shade 10 Ivory, and it looks like this. I'm going to put this all over my face, and then I use this Stila. Um, foundation in caramel number 10 and it is obviously darker and I use this just like on my cheeks here and sometimes on my forehead just for like a little bit of like a bronzy contour type thing um but yeah so I'm just gonna do that I know I said it before but please ignore like how ridiculous this looks right now like the shade difference I actually didn't realise it was this bad. Um, please ignore that. Um, anyways, I'm going to go in with this now. I'm only going to put it on my cheeks this time. Sometimes I do put it on my forehead, like I said. Um, but yeah, I feel like we're already looking a bit too dark at the minute. So I don't want to make that too bad. Um, I've got a light concealer to put on as well. So that should hopefully help a little bit with how we are looking right now. But I'm just going to put this right here. And I'm going to blend this side first because I don't know if anyone can tell from these videos. My hair is irritating me. It being like dead close to my skin when I'm trying to do my makeup. Um, but it is. And I'm just going to take this up a little bit because there was too much on, on my face right there. I know I said I wasn't going to put it on my forehead. But I did get way too much on my face. Oh, oh my god, I actually look ridiculous. Now concealer, um, my HD W7 HD concealer that I always use. Everyone knows I've already seen these. Um, I'm going to just use the lightest one today just to try and maybe make this makeup look, look a bit better. Because I feel like it doesn't look good at the minute. So I'm going to put a load of this under my eyes like this to try and brighten my under eyes. And then I'm going to put it up my nose. Not up my nose, you know what I mean. Um, and then I'm going to put it above my eyebrows. I saw a girl on TikTok do that. I'm not sure why she did it. Um, and I can't remember if it made a difference, but I've started doing it recently. So, that's why I'm doing that. I'm also going to do that and try and make the foundation shade more of like a contour shade. Um, and then let's just like pat this in. Maybe I should be using a different brush for this, but, oh well. Does that look a little bit better? Yeah, I feel like it does. Okay, I feel like that looks a little better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bake my under eyes and like everywhere I've just put my concealer with um this loose translucent, yeah, loose translucent powder. Um, this is new, I showed this in, not my last video, the one before that I think it was, um, the like winter favourites, so, sorry I'm like messing with an eyelash, I've just pulled off this. Um, I did show this in my, one of my more recent videos, um, this is quite new, this is one of the products I was on about and we am loving this so far, I think I said that in that video. So bronzer, I'm just using my usual Clarins one, I've actually broke it, um, I'm not going to put too much of this on just because I know that I'm already looking quite bronzed and I probably don't need this. Um, I just feel like it might help to set it a little bit better. 
so i'll just put a little bit on like that i feel like that didn't do too much now for blush i'm actually just going to dip into my james charles palette and i'm going to mix this red shade up here and the tiniest little bit of this pink and i'm only gonna try and put a little bit of this on just like here like that okay now highlighter this is a new thing i'm going to show you and i'm really excited for this this is one of the becca highlighters now i've never tried this before like before getting this one this one is the the moonstone one and it looks like this i have used it like you can see um i actually got this from tk maxx it was meant to be 30 pounds and it was for 9.9 if you can see that on there which i thought that was quite good um and just put it in like the usual places so on my nose cheeks like this i mean look at that highlighter that is so pretty now i'm just going to take this blending brush that i have and i'm just going to use a little bit of the clarins bronzer just in my crease just to like do a tiny bit of eyeshadow i'm using like the darkest shade here for it now i'm going to curl my lashes and just add some of this natural collection mascara and this is the the lash curl one um i'm just gonna do that off camera because you don't need to see me do my mascara okay so that is my mascara done and i always forget how good this mascara is until i reuse it again um anyway we're gonna go on to lips so the lip products i am going to be using is this nyx um nude suede shoes lip liner and it looks like this Sorry, the lighting goes awful when I move too close. Um, and I am just going to line my lips with this. Well, overline a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to use the NYX Butter Gloss. Um, I have four shades and I can't decide which one to use. These are all fairly new as well. Let me try and show you. Um, these are the colours that I have. I'll read them out really quick. So this one is Sorbet. Um, it's like a really... This one's Sorbet. It's like a really pretty, like... It looks quite red on camera, but it's actually like a really nice pinky colour. This one is Tiramisu. And this one's really nice. This one matches the um, lip liner the best, I think. Um, or maybe these two do, actually. I don't know. This one is Fortune Cookie. And this one is Madeline or Madeline. And yeah, I think the one we're going to go for today is this Sorbet one. Just because it's the only one that I actually haven't tried yet. These ones I have tried. Um, and I like these two together. I use this one on the outer, this one on the inner. But we're not going to use that today. We're going to use this really pretty, like, it's almost like a bit of corally pink, but like more pink than it is coral. Does that make sense? Okay, anyway. So we're going to use this. Um, I am excited to use my mum actually got the same colour and she loves it. So let's just put this on. Oh, yeah, that's so pretty. Wow. Okay, that is the lip gloss and that looks so pretty. Like, look at the colour. Oh my god. Anyway, we're gonna take my hair down now because I'm hoping it's gonna be long enough. Um, like, since I've had them in and I think, let me... Oh, that one's not even there. They feel like they've cooled down, so should be okay. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but I actually have some bits of my hair at the back, which I didn't get up in the rollers, um, because I didn't have enough, but it's okay, because I'll just push them to the back for the um, pictures. Okay, so this is how my hair is looking now after I've taken out the rollers, and I love it. The front pieces don't really work that well, which is why I've kind of flipped it over to one side, and I think it looks so much better. Um, But yeah, this is the finished hair and makeup. Like I said, um... The foundation was definitely a bit too dark probably should get a lighter one for when i'm not wearing fake tan so that it doesn't look like this much of a mess um but let's just ignore that this lip gloss 
I am obsessed with the colour of this lip gloss and it's the like I said it's the only one out of the four that I haven't tried until today I don't know why because it's definitely my favourite out of all four and yeah so this is the finished look oh that little piece do you see this little piece here that's like just doesn't want to cooperate with me today um yeah it's being really annoying I don't know if I like that. Oh, this front bit's really annoying me. Anyway, um, I think that's everything. So that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, make sure you like this video so that I know you like watching Get Ready With Me's like this. I hope it wasn't too rushed. I know I've been trying to like get through this really quickly, um, but I hope it doesn't like look bad and like really rushed. Um, make sure to subscribe so that you can watch more videos like this if you enjoy this these type of videos. I do also do fashion videos. If you haven't watched any of my other ones, definitely go check them out. I'll link some down below. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye!